Hello, Supercars in Seconds here. Something of a dying art here and behind me, we have a, a, a 5.2 10 cylinder naturally aspirated Audi R8 RWS rear wheel series. Meaning the vehicle, of course, is just rear wheel drive. It doesn't have the famous Quattro system that this car became so famous for. And it actually makes it lively, it does. It is a different steering feel, of course, because you don't have power up the front as well. It's just going to the rear. But let's take a look around this car and uh, we'll have some fun today. So starting up front, of course, we have our four rings, the auto union from the 50s and 40s, the four companies that combine to, to in modern day become Audi. Very famous look and very, very low. That's the rear view mirror look of the car. And she's only 48.8 inches high, so very low, 176 inches long. So a nice size car, that 106 inch wheelbase means there's not big overhangs, particularly on the rear. So that rear wheel drive coming through there really gives you a nice feel of on the road. The steering of course is electric, but at a pretty fast ratio, it does uh, work very well. And as I'll mention when I'm driving, but this is a, uh, I love this shaped rotor. You look to take some weight out, they've cut away the edges of the rotor, like almost like a flowery pattern around the outside. It's a two piece rotor with an eight piston caliper up front with just four on the rear. I love all these grills that the R8s have today. These mesh grills, intakes and so on, uh, all around the car, front and rear. This metallic black suits it as well, I think. See these little mesh grills. I love the big exhausts. And again, rear view, look at that thing. Really uh, just a nice thing. So to access the engine bay, you go down actually behind here. The engine has to be in um, uh, accessory mode. It won't do it if, if the car's just on. It has to be in accessory mode or the engine running to open up that little hatch, which lifts this up then to reveal our beautiful uh, 5.2 v10 it really does look great those big intakes up on top fill up this engine bay i love this big strut brace across the top of it really a beautiful thing 540 horsepower with the rws and 398 pounds of torque all of that a bit like a turbo engine comes in at about 5,000 revs where you get the maximum push from the car you can see how far down those little coil packs are the little red bits there obviously five each side they're way, way down in the frame of the car, giving her a great center of gravity. RWS rear wheel series, rear wheel drive, again, not all wheel drive, through a seven speed dual clutch that really performs very well. I was gonna say this several times in this video, but the big compliment to this car is how civilized it is to drive on a daily basis. <laughs> As far as storage space, I'll open up this beautiful big hood, which is kind of your front fenders as well. It goes all the way around there. And not huge again, because um, generally there'd be another transmission right here. Um, but a decent size, and, and I think a, a carry-on bag would still drop in there without any problem at all. Nice quality though, all the stuff is the usual Audi quality, meaning very well put together. Okay, and lots of the traditional VW Audi controls, including a little spot for this lovely key to drop in just here. Just stores it nicely, it's cool. Down underneath USB ports, 12 volt power. Very weird sort of hidden cup holders here, up, un up under there. But generally a, a very nice quality car. Okay, so driver's eye view of the cockpit there, really cool, I love this display, it's so awesome. And by using the view button here, you can change the way that it looks. You can have, you know, really change a lot of stuff. I enjoy this view, you get a bit of nav, the great big rev counter just feels more racy to me, and then your power and torque percentages. If I put her into park there and rev it up, you'll see it uh, changing its all its um, values, really pretty cool. All of the switch gear in here is lovely quality. Everything about, that you can hear this, little clicks to everything, same on the, on the temperature. Nice clicks to everything. It just feels like it's quality and it's gonna last a long time. Got a little seat, heated seat control there and things like that. This one has a nice carbon pack around a lot of the vents and the main bezel around the, the instruments. 
and really gives a nice quality look. The steering wheel is solid, rock solid when you touch it. I like this perforated leather on the side and then this sort of smooth, more Napa smooth leather up on top. A beautiful car, let's take her out for a drive. And I'm driving it in dynamic, manual, and it's a nice place to be in the car. It is the um, controls are all right here, very ergonomic, of course, being Audi, nice quality car. But that big uh, eight piston caliper up front really does a good job. The brake feel is really strong. It bites very early in the travel and gives you a good feel. I wish the steering was a bit heavier. Other than that, this is a, this is a good car. All right, let's go down into old Batman's corner. RWS doesn't have launch control. I don't think that really matters. Um, I'm just gonna come to a complete pause. I got it in the manual mode, so I gotta use the paddle shifters. I'm just gonna hit it. <laughs> what a sound, gosh. Very impressive. Good balance. Again, it's interesting, the, load, the nose definitely feels lighter. A lot less push than the all-wheel drive. Let's hit it. <laughs> Up around 6,000, this thing hustles. 8,500 redline. We are hustling here. I'm gonna hit the brakes really hard. Oh, very, very good. I don't really miss the carbon ceramics. So this has the, um, I say that shaved weight uh, rotor. If you remember the original RS5 when it came out, it looks like that rotor that had it on the front, it was like carved out. I don't miss the ceramics at all. Because she's a little bit lighter in weight, she's 3,500 just over um, as this car. It's not up on its toes by any means. That big engine is heavy, but it really, uh, it's a lot of fun to drive, I love this car. It is not as aggressive as a lot of it, the cars in its class, but that's a, that's a compliment to the car. This thing, you could drive it every day. I could really drive this car from here in St. Petersburg straight to Miami and, and be comfortable. So I'm coming down really hard into our hard right hand. I'm gonna leave it in third to see what the balance is like. Well, you know, it's frankly not a lot of feel in the steering. But she pulls really hard above 6,000. Throttle response, amazing. It is uh, incredible how I can balance the car through a corner here. A little bit of push, but not like the all-wheel drive one. Again, I think it's less weight. I think it's about 110 pounds less with, you know, without having that those front wheels driven. I've enjoyed driving the car. I think what the R8 is great for is someone dipping their toe into the exotic market for the first time. Uh, let's look at the car. Your running costs are going, of course, are going to be much lower than some of the big exotics, but it still has that glamorous look. I see only being 48 inches high, it really has a cool appearance on the road. I actually like this metallic black. The black wheel is nice, of course. This is the optional uh, 20 inch wheel. It's really just uh, very, very pretty on the car. I appreciate you watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you'd like to be a part of it. Like I'll say it again, we've got close to 100 videos on the channel now for you to, to peruse through all sorts of crazy cars we've had. I appreciate you being part of the channel. I'll see you next time.